going to try and explain how the mine works when it arms itself. So on the back of the ship, you've got a load of sinkers like that. If you look at my other videos, you'll see the sinkers and the mine and the mines attached to them. So what happens is, there's the sea. As the mine comes off the back of the ship, it's on a rail, a rail system. There's a little clip here on the rail system that disconnects the mine from the sinker. This is the sinker, the square bit, that's the mine on top, okay? So as it goes over the side, it drops like that. It's the, the, the ratchet has disconnected, which, is the, the, which holds it on, but it's still held on the sinker because there's a coil of cable that pulls the mine down to the sinker. Uh, it drops down and it, and it hits the surface of the water and the whole thing floats, right? So the whole thing is now floating. Now what happens is you've already decided at what depth you want your mine. Now this depth we want it set at say uh, 20 foot below the surface. So we want the mine set like this eventually, okay? Right, that's how we want the mine set. Right, 20 foot, you can set it at 15 foot, you can set it at 40 foot, you can set it at 10 foot, it, it doesn't matter. But all you do is you have to know the depth that you want the mine set prior to deployment. So if we've got our C, C there, let's say we want to set this one to 10 foot below the surface. As soon as the mine hits the C, the C surface, it floats. Here, there's a little mechanism that deploys and it deploys because the little cam is opened as it goes off the back of the ship and the little ball drops out. It's like a cannonball, like a dumbbell weight, and it's on a bit of cable. Now this cable, because we want the mine deployed at 10 foot below, yeah, 10 foot below the surface, this cable is 10 foot, 10 foot long. And it spools out here of a, of a spool that turns. So this is still stuck to this, the whole thing is floating, and it deploys a spool of cable with a weight that's about that big, yeah, a solid steel, and it goes down exactly 10 foot. If we wanted to go 20 foot, that would be 20 foot. 30 foot, that would be 30 foot. But in this case, for this, ex this example, I'm gonna say that we want it 10 foot. So what's happened now is the mine has let this plummet weight go 10 foot, 10 foot exactly. Now, it's a pre-designed coil of wire that's 10 foot, 10 foot long. So now suddenly it stops, 10 foot and it stops. When it stops, it activates another cam and there's a big spool in here of not chain, but cable. Now this cable is connected to the bottom of the sea mine. Now as it stops, it jolts because it's heavy. And what happens then is the sinker starts to fall away. Okay, so the sinker is now falling away. This is the sinker here. That's the weight, yeah. And that's the mine. So the sinker now falls away, okay? And it falls away and it drops down. Now, in here there's about a 200 metre spool of cable. So now what's happening is the mine stays floating, un which is totally different to a certain uh, documentary where the guy said the mines are deployed and float upwards. They don't, they float downwards. There's your cable. There's your, there's your sinker, yeah? And there's the little bit hanging that's 10 foot. Now it continues to sink. This bit here is the only bit that sinks. This, that stays on the surface, that stays floating. It doesn't go anywhere, it stays floating. So there, it unravels a massive spool of, of wire and this sinks. And that is below it and sinks. It's exactly 10 foot below the weight. Now what happens then, eventually, as it sinks, Okay, right, that's 10 foot there, yeah. It hits the seabed. The first thing to hit the seabed is this weight, okay? Now, this is the bit where you have to concentrate. As soon as this weight hits the seabed, yeah, because it's sunk down, it turns off a cam in there that locks this. And as soon as that locks, it, it holds this tight, this, this piece of cable here, holds it tight. So as soon as that hits the seabed, that locks off the cam that was free because it was all sinking, yeah? And as soon as it locks, this locks, which means this, this gets pulled under the water exactly 
when it sinks. And there's your sinker, right? Exactly 10 foot. Okay, because this cam here on the sinker locked up when this hit the seabed, which means this continues to sink, but it doesn't play any more cable out and it pulls that down 10 foot. Okay, so that comes down 10 foot and sits 10 foot under the surface. So when the Lusitania either got torpedoed or sea mined, what they were looking for in the seabed, the research group, they were looking for this, which is the weight, and they were looking for the plummet sink, the sinker. They were looking for the sinker and the plummet weight and the cable. So what they were looking for to prove that the Lusitania was sunk by a mine was evidence of a weight and a sinker. Obviously the cable will be gone because the mine hit the side of the ship. They were looking for these two bits and that's what they were looking for when they tried to say whether the Lusitania went down via a mine or a torpedo. So you can understand that then. The whole lot sinks. That hits the seabed first. That then locks a cam that pulls that under exactly 10 foot. If that was 20 foot, it'd pull that down 20 foot. And that is how a sea mine is deployed on the seabed. Not how it was portrayed on the TV when the guy said that the mines are dropped and they rise up from the seabed. And then if they're not right, they, get, they, 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 they bring them up and they put them in again. That, that was rubbish. What they do is they, they get pulled down from the surface. So the only movement the mine will do is 10 foot below the surface. That's all it will do. It doesn't go down to the bottom and come up again. It stays on the surface. And as soon as all this kicks in, it just gets pulled down by 10 foot or 20 or 40, whatever you set it for. And that is how a sea mine is deployed. Please, can you put in the comments whether you understand that? Because I am thinking about making a model um, out of balsa wood and little cables of how this works because it is very clever. And I've got to be honest, I seem to be the only person around that's, that knows how World War II sea mines actually work. I haven't, I haven't spoken to anybody yet who actually knows how they work except me. I can go into detail about soluble plugs and also delayed um, flooders, which if the mine needs to be uh, taken out, e.g. the shipping lane needs to be opened, they'll set a delayed flooder after two weeks, it will flood itself. But that's another, that's another video. Please put in the comments whether you understood this or whether I have to redo it a little bit clearer with models. I'd like to know because a lot of you have asked me to put a video together on how these mines are deployed. I hope that is clear. If it's not, please put down in the comments and I will do it again. Thank you very much.